lot of work done. And the last video in part um, three or whichever, it was, the last one is um, I was tearing the floor out and it was, gosh, it was a pain in the butt. I, I, I dressed some fingers up, cut this and cut that. Uh, but anyway, it was a pain in the butt. There was a lot, that floor was a pain. I was cutting and hammering back and forth. Uh, but I wanna let you guys um, show you what I guys, actually what I did. Um, <clears throat> I got all this floor done. Um, there was a, the old cargo floor in there. I had to get it out. Um, I actually discovered some um, new um, areas that I didn't uh, see because the floor was there, like uh, right here. Um, there's 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 some spots right here, and here. Uh, there's some spots right back over there. Uh, same thing over here, and over there. You can see them all in there. There, there. all right here. So that was, that was some areas that I didn't realize that I was going to have to replace. Um, but the good thing is I got almost all the flooring out. I got a little piece right here. Um, I just didn't want to take that out right now um, because when I start getting this new metal in, I'm going to do uh, you know be able to like decipher a little better. Um, but I put my order in on the metal uh, with Classic Fab. I talked to the guy today, and um, I'm hoping the stuff is going to get shipped out today. Um, but I'm keeping my fingers crossed on it. He ain't called me back yet, so if I get a phone call, then I won't have to take it. Um, but so I got all this cleaned out, all in here. Um, right in here. Uh, I, I left this lip here. Um, that's where it's actually spot welded. When the, the cargo floor gets in here or whatever. And um, this right here. I, I'm, I'm probably can just take that out. Uh, it's barely hanging on anyways. Um, because I took this this piece out right here. There's a piece that runs uh, It's actually a piece that runs here. It looks like a C and it runs all the way down the entire portion And it what it does it, it touches all the ends Every end so what it, it just really supports it. It's like the it does the same thing on the other side And then these pieces come down and then they they touch to it. So it ties it all together Of course, that's the piece that's gone so um, I wanted to try to keep as much as there as I could um so um when i'm I'm doing this I, I don't lose the uh i guess where stuff is or how it touches whatever so uh i i try to take out the bare minimum that i could um do all that but uh but no i got it all out uh i had a big old pile on the, on the ground uh, i'll show you a picture um but it was just it, it was a mess and it was really, really hot and but uh anyways we got that done so, um, um, I got these out, hopefully, uh, I can repair those, but if worst case scenario, if I can't, it's, it's not a real big deal breaker, deal breaker, because this is all going to be hidden underneath here, because they, they went right here. <clears throat> it's not that big of a, uh, a deal breaker, because it's going to be hidden, and if I have to just put like a normal piece of metal in there. Um, it, it'll be fine. It, it, no one will honestly probably know, um, except for all you guys watching this. Uh, we got the tank out. The tank was a little, um, I was hoping from the top the tank looked pretty good. Uh, and I can probably still fix this one, but I, I don't know. Um, there's a lot of, there's a little hole here. And then some of the stuff I just, I just touch it and it just crumbles, crumbles. There's, uh, quite a few little holes up in here. And then... Over here is another uh, big second. This stuff right here, you just got you just barely touch it and just see it's just flaking off real bad. I bet there's a lot of rust inside there, and there was another spot somewhere I can't believe. So I don't know, I might have to order a new tank too, but um, stuff like that that's gonna be like the last piece. Um, I want to get all the metal done, and um, then I want to start rebuilding it, and that's gonna just that's gonna be another piece down the road I want to get. <clears throat> Uh, but no, that's all I did. Um, all doors. I can still get this dash out. Uh, dash. This piece comes out. I'll get all that taken out. But I think what I want to do today is I think I want to get that side piece. The, 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 the side uh, piece of the thing. Because I got to get it on there and mount it. And then I got to build the rest of it. Because um, it was too short. It only came up to about right here. So... I'm gonna bolt it to it, get all that, and then it'll, it'll get up to here. And then I either got to extend it higher, and then I gotta build the legs 
that'll go out and touch this. And as I said in my previous videos, I'm going to um, I'm gonna put a two by four. Two by four, probably two by four. Two by four, probably wrap it in a towel, staple it all on there, whatever. And then uh, make it where it'll actually, uh, will follow this whole piece right here and it'll come all the way back to here, line it up, and then it'll go in here. Um, and then because this is a double cab, I'm gonna have it go all the way up and go all the way across. But then I'm actually gonna do a second leg only on the back that I'll actually touch right here. <clears throat> because this leg out here is really going to be supporting a whole lot uh, It'll be supporting up there good, but in the back there's there's really nothing So I really need another leg right here. So um, I guess let's get that done. Uh, let's Yeah, let's bolt that up I gotta take all these bolts out of here All right, there you go. It's on there. <clears throat> Tell you one thing though, that's strong. It's. Uh, I was a little worried about that because you know everything is resting on that little point there. Um, but this should work. And hopefully, I, this first time I put it on here since I fixed this. Woo! Barely. <clears throat> the wheels was hitting. Uh, if you looked at my last video, it was hitting. So when I took this off, I grinded it off. Let's check the last wheel. Or the back wheel, I mean. <clears throat> oh, it's still going to hit. It's it's fine. I, I I'm, it's fine. I'll I trimmed it off a little bit. It just needs a, just a little bit more. Anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and lock the wheel. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and lock that wheel. <clears throat> Keep it from moving a little bit. All right, so. Now you can see the the dilemma I'm pretty much in. <clears throat> I think going to extend up right here. Um, and the problem is I couldn't find metal to slide in there. I was really hoping that the metal, I could get a piece of metal and I could just slide it in there. So then I can just adjust it perfect how I want, put it to that, drill a hole through here, and then call it a day. But I can't get that. So unfortunately, <clears throat> this would be one of the things if I ever had to build a jig again, I would make sure this pole is the right length. <laughs> but I'm going to extend it up. Uh, I might have to put some bracing on the side um, just for strength. And then I'll build that leg that goes over there with the 2x4. Um, <clears throat> yeah, let's go for there. I'm going to let me cut, let me, let me measure out some pieces. I'll cut them up the length. I'm probably going to cut them higher, uh, get them way up here. That way I'm, I don't have to worry about that, that, that cross leg that goes that way. So uh, let, let me throw, throw tape on it real quick. Get the chop saw. And let's get, let me get that ready.
two pieces, boom. And I'm gonna clean up the edges because that stuff right there is like a razor blade. If you don't clean the edges up, it'll cut you faster than anything. grind the top of this off too but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stick it on there just like that <clears throat> and then, see that's, that's well below above the uh, the rain gutter so I'm just gonna get a piece like that and then I got some uh, angle iron over there and I'll cut and uh, it'll just it'll just hold this corner I may do only do two sides I may do all four I'll probably end up doing all four just because that's just the way I am uh, I may just do Look, six inch strips, weld it, weld it, weld it, weld it all the way around. Do the same on the back. And then, um, yeah, probably go from there. So. I'm just gonna cut these pieces. I don't know how long I'm gonna make them, but I guess let me put a tape on. I think six inches would be, or really five inches should be plenty, but let's do five. You know, and they don't have to be identical, so. They're going to be pretty close to each other. Twenty. That should give me four of them. And if I want more, I'll make some more. are really hot. <laughs> They're always hot. Whew. Let me get some pliers and dump them in the water. All right, always more grass. There he is. Stuck that on there like that. And then, um, stack that like that, and then get this piece right here. And it'll home in. And then, weld that up, weld that up. And that should be really, really good, honestly. That's, um, I don't know what it's going to look like with two. 
I'll put one right there. And I'll put one right there. Yeah. <sighs> I guess let's uh bust out the old welder and start welding up. I'm just gonna tack it in the center and then I'll put the uh the sides on, I'll clamp them on. We'll go from there, I guess. I actually I'll probably clamp them all. I probably clamp them on now. All right, got it all on here. Um, <clears throat> I didn't realize this metal when I when I cut it. It has a, uh, a messed up piece right here. So I may, let me flip it around. I got it uh, grounded down below. I got this piece on here. I got clip clamp on here. I'm just gonna tack it here, there. I'm gonna probably weld the top, weld the bottom. And then um, once I get all four of them on, I'll come in and I'll actually weld down the beam. Cause I think these, I think this piece, and when I put another piece on there, they're gonna be kind of close. So I, I don't want a weld to get in the way. So um, I'll just do that. That's if I put four in the corner. I really haven't made up my mind yet, so. That one up. I know I think I'm going to put this one on. That'd be enough. One here, one there. Or should I get the, uh, the rest of them and add it right here? There and there. I got plenty of material to make uh, four more of these for the other side. Um, I think I'm gonna put four on. Honestly, uh, I I probably don't need it. It's probably overbuilt, but um, I'm the one that's gotta sleep at night when this thing's sitting on its side at night in my shop. So um, I'm just gonna do it.
that's, pr that's plenty good now. <laughs> I mean, so I will take this all off. I'm gonna take it all off, and um, I'll put really good welds on it. Uh, my welder was actually at the wrong setting. I forgot yesterday I had to weld the, the black pack, the black platform on my golf cart in a lot thinner metal. So I cranked my welder down, and that's just one of the lessons learned. Um, I, I noticed something was a little weird. I was like, nah, I haven't used it again, so it should be fine. I should just look over at my welder. As soon as I did look over my welder, I realized I was on the wrong setting. But, oh well, uh, it looks a little buggered up. I may clean it up just a little bit, but that's fine. But that's definitely gonna hold. Uh, I'm gonna do the other end, and um, then I'll, I'll start building those legs. And once I got it all tacked in the way I like it, and then I'm gonna take the whole thing off again completely weld it up and I'll paint it all up again and then I'll probably end up slapping it back on there but uh go from there Two by six. I found out in the shed. I'm just gonna measure this out. Um, uh, that's right at seven foot. I'm gonna add a little bit to each side, just um, just because I got the plates on there. So I, I'm just gonna branch it out to uh, let's go with 90 inches. Uh, 90 inches should be uh, plenty for that. So uh, let me get my speed square. And you guys, I'm gonna do this board. It's got a little bit of splitting and stuff in it. And I know I have plenty of length, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a fresh start, and, uh, and then I'll, I'll measure out 90 inches and then cut that out. I need to start doing some measurements from this to um, back to the uh, the stand itself, the tilt dolly. I need to make this gap perfect. I got to build those legs, and then I'm going to get those metal plates like I had for the other one, and they'll actually screw to this. But I have to make all that stuff. So, uh, it's always fun doing uh, custom things, one-off things. Um, I wish someone actually built this jig, and I would just buy it. But. Eh. Sometimes it's fun to do it yourself and uh, you learn so along the way. Um, now what I think I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna build the legs that way, put the plate on it, and then um, go ahead and, I'll probably just do one, one leg, go ahead and screw the leg to the board. And then I can get the board, I can clamp the board to it, to the actual bus itself. And I'll just get a, uh, this two by two, um, I'll get a piece that's, I know that's longer than what I need. Um, but I'll smash that two by four for it and this little, uh, little, uh, the little arm will come right here. And then I can mark the arm right here and uh, that'll give me the exact measurement. All right, so now all I gotta do is, uh, I got these same plates with the four little holes in it. I can, um, I can put a screw in there. So I'm probably just gonna get a screw. These are a little bigger for a screw. Uh, so I'll probably just get like a washer and then screw it all together. And then um, that should be fine. Or I may uh, counter sink the wood or something. I don't know, I'll figure it out. But all I gotta do now is. Uh, I'm just gonna eyeball this because it really doesn't, it's not gonna matter really. go see if I can find some uh, screws or something like that to uh, put that on and then we'll go from there. All right, so what I got is, um, so I welded it on, it's on here, and I got it a little off the ground. Um, what I did, I found these carriage bolts. 
carriage bolts, I believe what they call them. And um, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll drill the holes uh, for each thing, and then I drill it up, and this head will actually sink into the wood. I'll make sure it sinks into the wood on the other side. Uh, that way they don't penetrate it. I don't think the bus is actually gonna hit here anyways, so it's actually gonna hit back here anyways, but either way, uh, I'm just gonna drill the holes and put those in it and countersink it, and then um, I'll put it up there on the, uh, the jig and see uh, how well it looks. See, now those are flush across there. Uh, nothing's really penetrating those. So, <clears throat> we gotta have to figure out how I'm gonna get this up there, hold it all in place. So, that's always a fun part. Uh, I have to get creative with some clamps or something like that. So, let me get that all jigged up and I'll, I'll show you what I got ended up with. All right, what I did, I got this little piece right here and I just uh, got a clamp, put it on there just to kind of support it. And then I ran over this end, and you can see the, um, this the end that's on there, and um, the angle that it put on there. Um, and, I, and I just kind of temporarily clamped it on there right now. Hopefully it won't fall on me right now. Um, but you can see that what I did is, because that board, it, it, it's not straight, I actually got it to fit that concave of the, uh, the roof just perfectly. Because you can see on this side, see how it fit, it, it's at an angle. So, doing that, allowed me to get that angle perfect i'm going to um, clamp it in there or snug it in there as best i can or get it really really close in there and then once i get that perfect then i can come right over here and i can score this and that'll give me the perfect angle i'll actually mark uh where it goes on there or whatever and then um and then once i get this one done um I'll eventually end up doing the back one. Uh, the back one's gonna be a little different, not different, but it's gonna be, uh, it's not hitting bare metal or bare body right here. The body actually is right here. So this right here, or I'm afraid it's gonna be a little springy. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to push uh, the board down uh, to take the spring out of it. And uh, hopefully what that'll do, uh, the board's gonna have an arch all the way around it. Like, uh, it'll be wrapping the side of this truck. So, um, I'm going to do that. So, let me get that thing as best I possibly can. And then I'll, um, I'll cut that off. And then I'll weld it all up. And, of course, knowing me, I'm going to, uh, once I get that on there, I'll end up get a gusset. And I'll gusset this out and make that as strong as I can. Uh, I may even do one on the top. It just really depends um, how I feel. But, uh, I think that's going to work out perfect. All right. So, I got uh, what I did. All I did was mark it, and I need to. I want to. I want to try to get this angle as best I can. So the best way for me to do that is put it on the miter saw, or the the chop thing. But I can't do that with the two by six on it. So I'm gonna have to take this back off, throw it on the miter. Uh, I keep going on the miter saw, chop saw. And, uh, So, there's my angle. So what I gotta do, I need to loosen this thing up. I think that's gonna be close. Be able to put this back on there.
I can live with that. All right, let's fire the welder. That'll hold for now, for sure. Um, <clears throat> that's the only thing to do now. Uh, that'll hold right there. Like I said, I'll take uh, I'll take all this off again. I'll come back and re-weld it all. Uh, let's see if I can get the other end fixed. Other end's a little, might be a little more fun to do, but I will see. Get it centered about where I want it. Okay, and then uh, that gave me a good mark. So um, let me go cut this real quick and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So let's put it right back in here. It should slide right in this place. Ooh, this one's a lot better than the other one. A lot nicer. Like that. I'll throw me a, this will make it nice and straight. that I think that should be good weld her up real quick I like this one a whole lot better than the last one Boom, there it is. You can see, I don't know if you can see the, the board, it curves, curves that body really good. It's on the, uh, the correct angle of the body. Um, that should be real, real good. Like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this off. I'm definitely gonna add the gusset right here and potentially another one right there. Um, do that, but it, it sits right on that rain gutter, right below it. Over here, weld that sucker up. That's gonna be nice. So that's a, uh, a lesson learned. Whoever's building a jig like this is to make it taller. <laughs> but now, um, I think that's gonna work out really, really good. And one good thing about doing it like this is this: um, if I ever want to do like a bus, this would work. It's it's the same. So th this little piece would bolt right up to it. And it had no problem. Um, I'm actually kind of debating whether or not I even need. I thought about putting one here. Um, but I don't know if I need it, honestly. Um, I think it's holding pretty, pretty good. Especially since I use a 2x6. I was originally going to use a 2x4. But I am glad I went with a 2x6. So um, I guess the only thing to do now is um, I'm going to take the whole side off. Weld everything up, paint, the, uh, paint it up, and then I'll probably end up putting it back on there. I gotta make sure I grind that one little piece off that I forgot last time. Grind it back on there, and then um, I'm gonna have to get somebody's help, uh, probably my dad's or something like that, and then uh, I'm gonna try to tilt it over for the first time. Uh, that's probably gonna be a really, really uh, sketchy, scary uh, experience, but uh, it's gonna have to get done one day or another, so. Uh, I'd rather tilt it over and if something goes wrong or whatever, I can fix it because when the, the dust blasting guys come in, I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna have time. Them guys on a time crunch, they come in, they, they'll blast this whole project out in like probably less than two hours and, and they're gone. Uh, so I ain't got time for uh, any uh, hiccups or mistakes or anything like that. So I guess that's it. Let's get it done.
All right, I got it all painted up, slid it back in here. Um, let's see if I can get it on here by myself. Um, it's kind of tricky to put it on by yourself on it, actually. So uh, let's see how I can do it. Uh, I think I'm gonna put one bolt in on one side and then do the other side, and I guess go from there. But it's a lot heavier now. <laughs> Maybe flip it over, flip it over. Uh, maybe even staple it on there. So let me go get a little towel. I'm just going to go to the towel. I'm just going to do it Think we should flip it over? Huh? I guess it's better than never, so uh, I guess let's just do it. Uh, let's take all stuff on the back. I'm gonna spin the entire truck around because I have a chain hoist on that side. So my plan is to uh, jack it up on this side, or on the other side, jack it up on this side, and get it go, um, on the on the 45 and the whole time I was a chain hoist on it so uh, and then uh, I can just slowly lower it down on that um, now let's see how that's gonna go I'll take one of the tips. I'm just going to go here. 
and this should approximately go The jack over there is maxed out. I'm seeing everything, taking my time doing this. Um, I think it's just because it's the first time. Probably once I get the first time done and get underneath my belt, uh, a lot me more confident because literally everything is riding on something that I built, something that I welded. So if anything failed, it's 100% me, really. Because um, obviously I know a jig like this works.
put it on the side now. <laughs> Man, does that look crazy or what? It's riding pretty good. Uh, you know, it's sitting on that, that, that little bitty piece right there. Um, obviously, I'd want to, I'd, I'd have jack stands and everything else on this end and down there. If I was going to keep it like this, I'll work on it. Uh, but you can see the top of it pretty good. <laughs> It's so crazy, it's sideways in my chop. Uh, you can definitely see under it pretty good. Uh, this is going to make that guy, when he uh, does a dustless blasting, um, so much easier for him because I'm going to tilt it over one side and then uh, he'll do all the, the work on it like that and then, um, and then we'll put it back on its uh, right side up. And then uh, he can blast everything else like that. So uh, this is going to make his job and my job easier when I got to start replacing metal. Um, you know, I can get in there and maybe do stuff like this. It just depends. I mean, I may not ever tilt it over again after it gets dustless blasted. Because um, a lot of stuff I can do, I mean, I could technically do it upside down. But uh, it's just really going to depend. So... Uh, That is it. So the question is now, do I keep going? Uh, I, don't, I really don't know. Uh, <clears throat> I think I, I, I really need a second person doing this. Um, I, I can get like a bar and put right here, like in there, and that'll give it a lot of leverage. Um, but being right now, being by myself, it's kind of, it, it's a little sketchy. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. So, Oh man, that is so crazy though. Yeah, I, de I definitely need two people doing this. It, it, it's pretty hard doing it by myself because one, I don't weigh very much. And you gotta get it past to a certain point and you really would like need someone on the other side to, while I'm pushing this way, you need someone on the other side to uh, soften the the last portion of when it tips, because that's when it wants to boom, slam. Um, the chain hoist helps, but you can see I was kind of struggling because I was having to lower it and lower it, and lower it, because I didn't want it to hit that 45 real, real hard. So, yeah. Huh. Yeah, I think I think I'm just going to tilt it right back side up, and then. Um, I'm gonna wait until my dad gets here. I think it's just the safest thing to do. Um, that's just, I think it's one of the moments where you kind of get into and you, uh, you get a little deep in the mud and uh, some people just keep on going and then end up getting stuck in the mud. But I, I think I'm gonna back out and uh, wait until I get a second uh, set of hands to help me out. Um, mainly just a safety thing, I, I just, you never know, I'm here by myself. Well, I got my kids and I go, but so I'm screaming for help and I guess they can call 911, but um, let's tilt it back over on the side, but uh, a, a cool little uh, first, uh, we'll call it a half test. <laughs> it put it on 45, so uh, I'm comfortable with it going on 45, but uh, let's tilt it back over like she's supposed to be and let's go from there. I'm just kind of kind of excited that it even it, it, I got that far. Uh, it's uh, really really cool. All right, well now that I need to take a, a breather because that was my always my worst nightmare is uh, this thing just going going over 45 and just stuff starts cracking and welds start breaking and then it's sitting on its side or upside down or rolling into my blue truck over here but uh that, that was my fear but uh i conquered one fear the next fear is going to be going all the way i'm doing a complete 90 
Um, like I said, safety wise, I just need to wait until my dad or uh, I get a second set of hands. Um, that, that is a quite a bit of weight and uh, something that go wrong. Um, I would definitely need someone else to help me out. It, it was a pretty exciting today to get that to flip over like that. Uh, just kind of mind blowing that that actually happened today. Uh, but um, I think this, I, I'm glad I stepped back. I, I think it's a safety precaution to uh, wait until my I get a second set of hands on this um, and actually do it the safe way. I definitely don't want to get hurt, and I definitely don't want nothing to happen to my truck. So um, I think um, that was the, the, the best thing to do at this point. Um, I need to go inside. I need to call the metal guy. Uh, the metal guy was supposed to call me back yesterday. Um, I really need to get these parts ordered. Uh, it may take a week or two to actually get the parts. Um, I got to order a couple other things. I considered getting a spot welder because uh, a lot of thin metal and a, a spot welder would really help um, do that. Instead of having to plug and spot weld, plug and spot weld every little thing. Uh, it requires a lot of work to do that because um, it's just a multi-step thing. You gotta come back and sand it. It's just if I can get a spot welder, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, but then I gotta sync up with the uh, the dust is blasting guy. Um, he's gotta come blast it, and I gotta sync that up with my dad. My dad's gonna help me. Uh, one, my dad's gonna help me tilt it over safely. The guy is gonna blast it and all that stuff, and then um, the guy told me I have a 72-hour window after he blasted it and that's on a perfect thing uh low humidity and there's all different um factors in the climate that actually get that number so it could actually be shorter than that but anyways as soon as that's done i have to seal this truck uh, to protect the metal on it so um i may have to build like a temporary paint booth i thought about building like get some plastic and just make like some curtains down the side of it and cover the floor uh, but if i can get the weather it'd be nice that week or whatever i could probably just paint it outside as long as it's not super windy uh, we might actually get that done, um, but I'm definitely going to need my dad's help for that. Uh, tilting it over, spraying it, it's like that. So I need to sync that up, sync the dust with guy up with that, and then um, after that, I I'm hoping the metal is going to be here. If the metal is going to be here, then um, I'm, I'll probably start um, cutting metal off and start going from there. I do appreciate you guys hanging out with me in the garage. Uh, I think it's almost been like every day, um, but hey, that's it, it's fun. Uh, it, it's really cool to see the progress on the truck. To definitely today was a sketchy day. Uh, but if, if you guys have it, uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really does help out a, a little uh, channel like me. Um, every time I see you know comments or uh, you know someone else like my videos or maybe a subscriber, uh, it, it kind of gives me a little um, a little perk and say, hey, I'm actually doing something right. I'm just not a crazy guy talking to a camera out here like my wife says all the time. She she says I'm crazy because I talk to you guys all the time. But uh, can't please like and subscribe and uh, always remember guys, if you never start it, it'll never get finished.